Right. That time again. You thought I was going to start the game. You must be joking, mate. It's uh, breakfast time. And just like Fuzzbox uh, always said, coffee and smokes you back from the dead. Not really, though. They actually said toast. <clears throat> I don't know if any of them smoked. One of them looked like they smoked. Actually, two of them looked like they smoked. Cool. So, we tried to play Dominator. And uh, I tested out this version uh, of the crack. And um, it's supposed to have a run-stop uh, level skip. And it won't work on the emulator. It's a really weird one. I was like, ah, for fuck's sake, that's the only trainer option worth a shit because there was no invincibility. I don't know what it is about this game. But, uh, yeah, anyway, uh, I don't know. I mean, I remember seeing the screenshots for this game and it had the old uh, Salamander knockoff uh, tusks. Ah, oh, come on, hold on. Fucking dry tobacco shit. And uh, I always wondered about this game. Now the uh, cover tape demo of this game was literally a demo. It wasn't a one level demo, it was just a demo, a rolling demo of the game. <coughs> so I assumed from the screenshots, because it didn't show that level in the demo, um, that the tusks would go up and down like Salamander. They don't. You can bend the tusks or blow them up or some shit, but uh, I really don't know what uh, they were thinking. Yeah, this is a real problem because um, whatever the gene is in the Japanese designers of games like Gradius, Salamander, Vulcan Venture, they're not present in Westerners. Certainly not in the 8-bit era. It was... Uh, you know, if you're lucky on the, on the C64 or Amiga, you'll get a shoot 'em up that's okay but boring. You know, it's well coded, but yeah, there's not really any innovation going on there. Unless the innovation detracts from the uh, gameplay, so there is that. Now, time to talk about my channel. Oh, God damn it, will you fucking... Uh, maybe I shouldn't use Zippo lighters because uh, I can smell the petrol. Eh, anyway. Yes, yeah, so I have decided to uh, open a new channel and I risk my life to go to the... Uh, mobile phone shop of a specific uh, I don't know what you'd call them carrier that's what they used to be called anyway I'm not going to say which company it is um, I have to uh, get the uh, sim card from my old phone transferred to a new sim card that I could uh, use in my phone that takes those microscopic little uh, sim cards very fiddly they are a fucking four-year-old with tiny fingers for his age would have difficulty fitting them bastard things. Anyway. Why is this fucking shit going out constantly? You fucking cocksucker. This is why I can't play again. While I'm smoking. So, uh, and it all works and everything. So I can actually uh, activate the other channel that I managed to create without using a phone. Uh, it's actually uh, a channel I created a long time ago. Nine months ago to be precise. I think it was nine months ago. 
I'm certainly playing C64 games, not NES games at the time. Because I was actually thinking, uh, yeah, you know, this isn't going well with the channel. And it happens to every channel. Every channel gets to a certain point and then it's stuck. And that's because of the way the YouTube algorithm works. Just about rescued the roll up there. God damn it, where's my normal lighters? I don't like inhaling petrol while I'm smoking. What do you think my name is? Whistler? Fuck's sake. And, uh, yeah, so, uh, <laughs> I did actually make uh, a video. Not a video 24, which is the 24-bit internal graphics card for the uh, Amiga 1500. You can put it inside the 2000, but there's a, there's a special version for the Zorro slots. Uh, I don't think it will go in any other Amiga. Uh, it will go in the CDTV if there's room. If not, you'll have to uh, run a whole load of wires like Norman Tuttle from Street Hawk. From the, uh, I think it's the uh, Denise socket. I'm not sure actually. Yeah, it is a Denise socket. Well, technically it's a Daphne socket. Denise is uh, what those Amiga 500 pricks come up with. They, they changed fuck all on it. And uh, they decided to change the names. So Portia became Paula. Daphne became Denise. And Agnes, which is the most disgusting name of the three. Agnes sounds like a fat girl. With spots on her bum. And fucking uh, B.O. that smells like fucking uh, black peppercorns. The fucking burn your nostril anyway maybe I'm thinking about a specific person I used to work with but um, let's just say I was very young when I found out that uh, fat people are not jolly at all no they're, they're quite not jolly at all and they're mm. anyway the fact of the matter is I created a video I spent ages doing it I thought it was really good actually it was about the Atari 7800 and of course, <laughs> YouTube let me upload this, start uploading the video. So I upload this, uh, I think it's about an hour long. It's a spectacular, mate. Uh, it was a summer spectacular, because Atari is all about the summer. Uh, for me, anyway. I don't know why. Maybe because I've got a VCS at the end of the summer. Maybe because I used to have uh, loads of games in the summer. So I've got extra pocket money during the school holidays to shut me up and uh, it then said processing abandoned video too long I was like you motherfucker and of course you have to verify your account using a mobile phone don't worry we're getting to the end of uh, Jesus Christ the fucking Good thing I didn't fucking focusing is going out there fucking why is it not focusing anymore you fucking cocksucker focus you bastard so I had to sort out the phone there was nothing wrong with my phone and uh, thank fuck my old phone didn't have Android it's a phone from uh, Terminator 3 it's uh, that particular Sony phone. Of course, Sony now take it up the arse from Google like everyone else. Because uh, you can only get an Android phone now. There's no... I can't remember what the operating system is called. It's that old. But basically, it does everything that the iPhone does. Before the iPhone even come out of the arse of that fucking prick, Steve Jobs. And Steve Jobs was a prick. It's not his engineers that were fucking pricks. His engineers could have put colour on the Macintosh. They could have put much better sound on the Macintosh. However, he uh, refused them. They only had like one weekend to sort the sound out on the Macintosh. Which is why the Macintosh can only play samples uh, about the same speed as a Commodore 64. Fucking pathetic, isn't it? Anyway, that's the channel update over with.